Chapter 10 Material Assignments This chapter will focus on applying and modifying surface textures. Right click on the stone texture and select Edit. In the Wall Edit menu, click the button labeled Definition. With the 2x6 stone wall selected, click the Save As button. Save the new wall as 2x6 Stone and Stucco. In the Stone Natural row, change the height to 36 inches. Note how the wall section updates to show the change. Next, select Add Material and choose Stucco A from the drop down menu. Change the width to 1 inch the height to 60 inches, and the vertical start to 36 inches. Make sure that the display height box is checked in the wall definition options and then select OK. Select the main floor plan and then select the front wall of the bay for edit. Change the wall type to the 2x6 stone and stucco. Keep the outside of current wall aligned with the outside of new wall and select OK. Use Repeat Edit to apply the change to the other walls of the bay. Select the 3D Texture tab to view the new bay wall. Return to the main floor plan and edit the 2x6 brick wall beside the left bay window. Change the wall type to 2x6 stone and select OK. Use Repeat Edit to apply the change to the adjacent brick wall and the walls beside the right bay window. Select the 3D Texture tab, right-click the stone wall of the bay, and select Edit Surface. When the Materials menu opens, double-click on the Stone Natural Texture to open the Textures menu. From the list of available textures, select the Exterior Finish Manufactured Stone category. Within this menu, various aspects of the texture may be altered. Select Pick. Select the Bluff Stone texture from the list of thumbnails. Select OK on each of the open menus to view the applied texture. To make the stone appear smaller, return to the Texture menu. Change the horizontal measurement to 3 feet 6 inches. Note that with the Maintain Aspect Ratio box enabled, the vertical dimension will change also to maintain the pattern's ratio of height to width. Use the slider bar to increase the relief depth to 51. Select OK in the open menus to review the changes. Next, edit the roof edge of the bay. Change the gable end material to Stucco A. Select the Stucco wall of the bay for surface editing and double click the Stucco A material. Increase the relief depth to 31 and select OK. Next, surface edit the brick wall of the house and double-click the Brick A material. Once again, select the Pick button 
and select the desired style of brick. Select OK to review the brick. Return to the Texture Edit menu for the brick and move the Diffuse slider bar to the left. This will decrease the sheen of the texture, resulting in a more matte finish. Select the Main Floor tab and then select Banding from the Draw menu. Choose the Bullnose Classic Banding with the Manual Trace option and select OK. Draw the banding along the front of the three walls of the bay and right-click to finish. Select the banding for Edit. In the Common tab, change the offset to 3 feet up. Select the 3D Texture tab and then select Edit Surface Copy Paste. Copy the stucco wall of the bay and paste the surface to the banding. Finally, select the roof for surface editing and choose the desired texture and select OK.